Hi everyone, this is Apostolic Watchman Antoine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I come to share you all this last and final prophetic warning from the Lord with one scripture verse to everyone that the idols will fall. I repeat, the idols will fall. In Isaiah chapter 44 verse 9 to 11 it says, How foolish are those who manufacture idols. These prized objects are really worthless. The people who worship idols don't know this, so they are all put to shame. But who but a fool would make his own God, an idol that cannot help him one bit? All who worship idols will be disgraced, along with all these craftsmen, mere humans, who claim they can make a God. They may all stand together, but they will stand in terror and shame. And that's Isaiah chapter 44, verse 9 to 11. So with that, here is the final warning, final prophetic warning from the Lord. The Lord is saying to you all, people of God, all Christians and all unbelievers, how dare you all? sin against me and to commit idolatry against me and towards my people and my churches. I am totally angry at you all for disobeying me by putting me first and not accepting me for salvation as your Lord and Savior, said the Lord of hosts. You all have put all men and all women first as idols. You even put all pastors, preachers, prophets, and prophetess Avengers, apostles, teachers, and bishops first, and then you put me last. You all have worshipped men and women and church leaders and all other ministers as idols, but you all did not consider me as your Lord and Savior, including as your Father in heaven and as your Creator of heaven and earth, said the Lord of hosts. You all even worship male and female gospel singers and gospel artists, including secular artists and secular musicians as singers, as your idols. And you all still put me last in thinking that I am just a man and not a God to you all. Therefore, you left me no choice but to bring severe judgment and my wrathful God towards your churches and towards you all, including your gospel music industries and second music industries for worshiping idols and not accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, said the Lord of hosts. The awards ceremony that you all attended as gospel singers and artists are full of idols as well, and that you all have received money from men and women thinking that I bless you all. I did not tell you all to receive idols of awards from the show. And I did not bless you all with some money and being rich and full of greed and power either. That is the devil who made idol images for you all to worship men and women and clean statues. He even made idols of sports stars, money, entertainment, social media, movie stars, television stars, and all other worldly things full of idols just to pull you all away from me, away from going to heaven, away from salvation unto Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and away from eternal life, said the Lord. The devil want you all to stay away from me, and to make you all continue to worship idols as idolatry, so that he will kill, steal, and destroy you all, and to draw you all to Satan the devil, and all demon spirits, including going to hell, and the lake of fire, and the afterlife forever. The devil is a liar. My word says that you shall not have any other gods before me. My word also says that you shall not create and worship any carved images of male and female idols. And then my word says not to have two masters. But because you all did that, and because you all break my commandments and disobey me and my kingdom, then I will destroy all your idols immediately, and I will send down my ultimate wrath of God to you all, including your churches who committed idolatry and all 
ungodly sins and focusing on me, on men, and women other than Jesus Christ in heaven. And I will also send out my ultimate raffle guide to all gospel music industries with gospel artists and singers, and even the secular music industries with secular artists and musicians for disobeying God, committing all sins and idolatry, for worshiping Satan and themselves as idols, for denying Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, and for leading my people away from me and into sins, death, and into the pits of hell towards demons, said the Lord of hosts. This is your final warning to repent over your idolatry and over your sins immediately. People of God, people who go to church, and people who committed idolatry and have worshipped gospel singers and secular artists, repent right now and immediately said the Lord of hosts, for the kingdom of God is at hand. It is either you repent immediately and be baptized with the Holy Spirit, baptized into water, and get healing, deliverance, and discipleships, or face the cup of God's wrath on you all forever until you all repent first and immediately, said the Lord of hosts. All idols will fall. And those people who are not my fivefold ministers as false ministers and false teachers, including false prophets, and who made themselves as idols, and not just being my followers of Jesus Christ, but ended up becoming followers of men, including Satan, those people will die at the pulp at the pulpit by my cup of God's wrath, said the Lord of hosts. And anyone else who follow these people who are idols, false teachers, and false ministers, and even followers of men and Satan, but refuse to repent and to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, they too will also face my judgment, including God's wrath as well, and will die with them, said the Lord of hosts. So repent right now, immediately, and come out of your sins and out of your idolatry immediately, said the Lord of hosts. Come out of the churches and gospel music industries and clean secular music industries who worship Satan and all demon spirits, who twisted scripture verses with their demonic doctrines of demons to support sins, and who even mock against me and to lie to people so negatively about me and against me, said the Lord of hosts. Don't think that I am blind and not seeing you all. I am still watching you all every day and all day long. And I will judge you all and even rescue you all away from sins, darkness, evil, and death. And I will draw you all closer to me with repentance and with my relationship with you all, said the Lord of hosts. So do not become an idolater nor a worshiper of sins. Come out from among them and draw closer and draw near to me, said the Lord of hosts. For I am the way to heaven, the truth and the life, and that no one comes unto the Father except through me, said the Lord of hosts. So time is running out, people in churches. Make your final decision right now before my judgment comes and before my wrath comes straight to your churches, to the gospel music industries, to your secular music industries, and to you, and to you all, straight to your doors immediately, said the Lord of hosts. It is either you choose me as Jesus Christ, as Lord and Savior, by accepting salvation, and to receive eternal life with your name written in the Lamb's book of life in heaven, or choose Satan, the devil, who will destroy you all, and to send you all straight into the lake of fire in hell with eternal death, eternal punishment, and eternal destruction forever in the afterlife, said the Lord of hosts. The choice is yours, said the Lord of hosts. I repeat, the choice is yours. Your idols will fall. I repeat, your idols will fall, said the Lord of hosts. And that is the final prophetic warning from the Lord. Amen. So, if you do not want to go to hell and into the lake of fire with hatred, bitterness, 
unforgiveness, disobedience, pride, witchcraft, mocking, scoffing, protesting, supporting sins, and all ungodly sins at the last minute of your life. And if you do not want to be left behind after the rapture and to suffer God's wrath in the seven-year tribulation in this world, and if you want to go to heaven to be with Jesus Christ forever, by having your name be written in the Lamb's book of life forever, and if you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and even if you are lukewarm or backslide away from God and into sins before the rapture comes, then say this simple repentance prayer with me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner, and I'm asking you all, and I'm asking you to forgive me for all my sins in the name of Jesus. I believe that you died on the cross for all of my sins, and that you are raised from the dead the third day, so that I shall be saved. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for saving my life and for dying on the cross for all my sins. I accept you now as my Lord and my Savior. Watch me, cleanse me, protect me, and cover me with your blood, and fill me with your Holy Spirit with fire. I receive you now as my Lord and my Savior, and I receive your Holy Spirit right now. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, forever and ever. Amen. Now the Bible says on Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So congratulations. Welcome to the kingdom family. And yes, you are rapture ready. Amen. So I encourage you all to find a church home that share the gospel of Jesus Christ and that lead all people and all souls unto salvation with baptism of the Holy Spirit, baptism of water, healing, deliverance, and discipleships. And I also encourage you all to read the book of John and the Bible to learn more about Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And also read the book of Acts to learn more about the Holy Spirit and how to read the baptism and how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit as well. So God bless you all, Jesus love you all, peace and shalom. And I can't wait to see you all in the clouds in heaven during the rapture. Amen.